Hey, CD Light here bringing you another video. Today, my husband is going to install the driver's backrest for my 2020 Can-Am Riker 900 Ace. Thank you for tuning in today. If you don't mind, please click that subscribe button, like, and comment below. I could really use your subscription to my channel to help grow my channel and bring you more content about the Can-Am Riker. And we want to attach the seat to a hole that is here on the right hand side if you're sitting behind the Riker and over here the left hand side that's where the seat will actually bolt into so what my husband is doing is trying to fit it between the seat okay pretty easy don't damage your seat again this right here is for adjustment for going up and down for the backrest and there's a feature that I'll show you later that can give you your tilt comfort all right so he's uh, lubricating the nuts and bolts as advised okay, so got the washer and the bolt okay we got the washer and the bolt Let's see if I can hold the camera and help hold it up I'm put one in one side another washer Another boat on the other side, which I cannot. There you go. Okay. okay. All right. On the back side, it's another washer and the nut. Okay. Okay, we got the bar. Goes in the, which is considered the front side of that nut and boat. Yeah. Let's get it. I'm going to push the, uh, the, the bolt out a little bit so it can fit. Okay, let me move this paper. Shouldn't be anything dripping or anything now. Yeah, push that, that bolt back a little bit. Okay. So get it in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, under the washer. Wait one second. Hard to see your hand. Washer. Okay. okay. And then put this nut right there. You can hold it and finger tighten the bolt to get it up there a little bit. Yes, you want to finger tighten. Do not tighten all the way. Right here. Okay, we're finger tightening. The right hand side if you're behind the Riker. We got the seat installed. Like I said, it was a pretty easy process for um, my husband to do it and in all likelihood I could have done it too, but somebody had to hold a camera, right? <laughs> all right, so this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get up close look for you It is a totally different feel because now um, And it does lean forward. So if the second passenger needs to get up there, they can There's a screw here to adjust the angle of how much it reclines. This is the screw to adjust the angle yeah. um, of how you want to recline. So if you up, back it out, you know, push it'll it up. Lean more. Lean more to you the turn front. Turn it down. It'll lean back more. Yeah. It comes so, here in the default. I think probably almost all the way up position. Yes. If you really have a lot of back. You can kind of crank it up more and more and more. But yeah. You can if you're off. a smaller person, maybe you can do something like that. Might get the support you need. Um, but I'm keeping it in the up front position. This is what it looks like and I'm going to put the saddlebags up there so I can get a full view of what it looks like to have the saddlebags on the Can-Am Riker um, with the backrest for the driver. This is what it looks like with the saddlebags installed with the driver's backrest. I think it looks good. I think it looks real good. 
it will um i think it's going to be different for me riding with the backrest because i've never ridden with one on a motorcycle so when i sat in the seat it was a different feel so i'm gonna have to get used to something you know on my back like that which is no problem but it's just something to get used to so I'm looking forward to taking some more long rides with this backrest installed. I wish I had it when I went to uh, Deals Gap in the Dragon. It, it would have came in handy, especially on the way back home. Um, that turned into a 10 hour ride because of traffic and road construction and delays. But um, for me, the Riker is a comfortable motorcycle. Um, like I said, I'm five foot one and it works perfectly with my height. Uh, the F3, I love the look of the F3s, but sitting on them, they just feel so big to me, and I wanted something that was close to feeling like a, a two-wheel motorcycle because that's the world I left. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick video as far as installation is concerned. The backrest you can check out on slingmods.com. And it was, I guess, manufactured by Spider Extras. Um, but slingmods.com is the distributor. And if you're wondering, I did call, I did contact Spider Extras to see if I can get it directly from them. And um, they just referred me to Sling Moz, saying Sling Moz is their distributor. And so Sling Moz did call me back and t they told me that they actually had it in stock. So that's why I went on and ordered it because I didn't want to be the last ones to get it and be waiting for it because it was on back order and it it take a long time to get here. And it actually got here really quick. So it got here in less than a week. So I'm very pleased with that. Great job, slingmods.com. I really appreciate that. Hey, I wanted to point out that one thing I did notice um, was that this will slight will move side to side. So no matter how tight you put it under the bottom, this wheel is plastic. So I, you know, I wouldn't turn it, but so tight. So it's as tight as I can hand tighten, and tight as my husband can hand tighten don't want any plastic to break but there is some movement from left to right which is fine it does not move up and down that's what that thing is kind of keeping it from doing and keeping it in a position I want it but it does move left to right so I assume that's the way it's, it's gonna be because there's really nothing that I can see that could fix it from moving left to right and it, it might be okay if I shift left to right it could be fine um, while I'm actually driving. So as long as it doesn't move up and down, I'm fine with it. But just want to let you know, you install it, you will get a little play in a left to right movement. I wanted to show you what it looks like with the saddlebags uninstalled, having the driver's backrest and a passenger's backrest. I think it looks awesome. So, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I could use all the support. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Um, but tell your friends, share this video, um, comment below, and let me know what you think about the backrest for the driver's seat. All right. Take care and be blessed. Until next time, bye.